Now we'll take a look at formulas. Formulas show up in just about every field of study that even remotely touches on math or science. There are a lot of formulas in physics, in chemistry, in economics, in medicine, a wide variety of fields. And formulas use equations to describe some real world phenomenon. And it's often very useful to be able to take a formula and solve it for any of the variables that appear in the formula. In this lesson we will take a look at several formula that come from the real world. Most of these will be from physics because physics describes the real world and we'll solve them for a particular variable in the formula. In these first two examples we have the formula E equals mc squared and this is Albert Einstein's famous equation for energy. E in this equation is energy and m is mass and c is the speed of light and c is a big number. The speed of light is very very fast. It's 300 million meters per second. That's really really fast. In miles per hour c would be 186,000 actually 186,000 miles not per hour but per second. c is a big number. c represents the speed of light and that's very very very, very fast. So c squared is a huge number and what this equation says is that if we take this big number and we multiply it by m we get a value for energy E. Einstein showed that mass can be converted directly into energy and that's what happens in a nuclear reactor or a nuclear bomb and that's why we get so much energy. A nuclear bomb is very very powerful or a nuclear reactor can produce a tremendous amount of energy from a very small amount of mass because when you multiply the m by this gigantic number c squared you get an absolutely huge amount of energy. Now here we're just told to do a little bit of algebraic manipulation on these equations. We're told to take e equals mc squared and solve it for m. So that's pretty easy to do e equals mc squared. To solve for m we just divide each side by c squared and the c squareds cancel on the left and the right and we're left with m is equal to e over c squared. In example 2 we're told to solve this for c. So we take the original equation e equals mc squared and we divide by m on both sides and the m's cancel and we're left with c squared is equal to e over m. And then to solve for c we have to take the square root of each side. So I take the square root of the left and the square root of the right. And over here on the left the square root of c squared is simply c. So I have c equals the square root of e over m. and you might leave it in this form. You might want to rationalize the denominator, uh, get your fraction out from underneath the radical, but that this is how you would solve it for c. At this point it is solved for c even if the right side isn't completely simplified.